okay, let's say we you have you've got 20, 30 years to build a business. By the way, doesn't matter what age you're at. You're 20, you're 30, you're 40, you're 50, 60 years old. Here's one, something that no one talks about. It is extremely stressful on your body, on your health to build a business. Think about in the athletic world, right? Someone who is an athlete, they will say, oh, you know, you don't see 60 year old athlete, right? You, 30 years old, you're pretty much done. In 20, like that's your peak, right? Yeah, maybe 20, 31, 32, you're done. Because they know if they are 35 and 40 years old and they're still performing these moves, chances of them getting injured is very high, right? You with me? Right? It's very high. So, so for safety, say, okay, no, 30 years old, you're gonna cut that off and you're gonna be a coach, you're gonna do something else, but you're not gonna be athlete just for your own safety. Well, here's the problem. People don't address in entrepreneurship what it takes to build a business, the toll that it, it takes on your outer body. But we kind of keep it going 30, 35, 40, 45, 60. Well, here's the problem. If you're in your 20s, in my 20s, I could go, I, could, I don't have to sleep. I could pull all nighters. I can work no problem, right? When I get to 30, I'm like, I can't do that, right? I can't, how many know what I'm talking about, right? Like, oh man, I mean, what, what night no sleep? I mean, that's a problem for me, right? And when you're 40, it gets worse. It just goes like, so I can go as hard as I was when I was in my 20s. But no one addresses this. Wouldn't you agree? No one addresses this. Athletes to retire at 30. So entrepreneurs, when you retire, uh, 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 I don't know. Whenever my business is successful, I guess, I don't know. Well, here's a problem. Even when your business is successful, you can't retire. You can't because we're not building it properly. I'll teach you how to build it properly, but we're not building it properly. So you cannot go as hard as you get older. So what does it mean if you are building your business 20 and you're 30, when you are 35 and you make one bad mistake, and let's say, knock on wood, you lose everything, you gotta start over. And with, with you, I know you're optimistic, say, I could start over, not a problem. And I know you could, but here's the problem. Now I got to start all over again, not with the same stamina energy that you had 10 years ago. Now I got to start all over just to get back to where you were. I'm not talking about the later stages. I'm just talking about getting back. That's another five, six, eight years of your life. Now you're 45. You don't have that many years left. And this is assuming you don't make another mistake. This is why I call it smart challenge. It's not a dumb challenge. It's about avoiding paying those dumb taxes. You see why it's valuable to spend some time away from the business? being here and just look at it from a different perspective. So you're in it, you're doing it, doing it, doing it, you're in it, you're doing it, doing it. Does it get you to where you want to go? Does it get you to where you want to go faster? That's the key. Listen, I was literally blown off my chair twice, like literally blown off my chair twice, guys. Listen, this is just mind blowing. Downlock, I don't know where you came from. I don't know where you're existing from. Man, you are in a different planet. Your level, your level of training, education, expertise is just hands down mind blowing guys hands down mind blowing money's worth moment every moment <laughs> i feel like i can grow my business i feel confident in what i'm doing now and it's just the second day i can't even imagine what i'm gonna learn and i want to scale my business and i want to be a sustainable unforgettable brand and i want to learn 